Hello, my magical unicorns. I have got my office all set up now to record my voice, my face. We won't talk about that. And other wonderful stuff. And I just have to remember to look at the camera and not at the screen to look at myself because that seems odd. And here I am rambling. But the purpose of this video today is to remind you of all the ways that you can get a book from me during this time of separation. I don't know why we're separated. This distance learning thing is really hard on me. I miss your faces. But anyways, how do you get a book? You want to read a book. You're bored out of your mind because being in quarantine, sitting on your couch. I don't know, maybe you're someplace fun, but I'm not. How do you get a book during this time? For those of you who want a book, I realize not everybody wants my magical books, but some of you do. So, first and foremost, Destiny. Let's talk about Destiny. I've had quite a few questions about, I can't get into Destiny, Miss Arnold, and I think it's just because you guys never listen to me. All you have to do when you click on the Destiny icon is click that blue bar, and it's like magic. You're in Destiny. So, please, for the love of God, listen this time. You just need to click that button, and you're in Destiny, okay? So when you look at your computer screens, look, that's what Destiny looks like, and in the corner, of the computer it says log in you click that you're in maybe that's the glitch maybe that's the one thing that threw you off you got to find the login button that's on the right hand side click it blue bar into destiny okay good so once in destiny what do you do how do you find books well there's lots of options there. You can search for titles you know you want to read. You can search by genre. There's those little topic buttons if you scroll down a little bit. And also, I've made some collections, and I'll update some more collections. You can give me suggestions on what collections you want me to make. But dive in and find a book that is interesting to you. You want to make sure that it says the book is in. That's important because somebody else might have the book at home and who knows when that book will come back at this point. But make sure the book is in. If you find an actual book that is in the library, now here's the trick. How do you get that book into your little hands? Or maybe a big monster hands, I don't know. Here's what you do. You have to use my Google number that is in the top of Destiny and send me a text message. Please don't call. I never answer numbers unless I recognize the name. And really, I don't know anybody who calls me by name anymore because I don't have very many friends. But text me. And when you text me, say, hey, this is Bobby Joe Smith. It really helps for you to put your name. And bonus, add your ID number. What I will do is when I get that text message that says, hey, Miss Arnold, this is Bobby Joe Smith, and here's my ID number. I want a book, and this is the book I want. I will instantly stop whatever I'm doing. Whatever I'm doing, maybe I'm painting the library, maybe I'm petting my magical unicorn, maybe I'm taking a nap, I will stop everything and I will go pull that book from the shelf and I will check it out to you and then I will give you instructions on how to pick it up. Here's the, the issue. You need to think about can you have someone come to school and pick it up? If it's a yes, we just got a range of time. I'm in the building between 8 and 2 every day. Usually it's actually between 7 and 3 three, but eight and two for sure. And I'll just leave it in the front window. Someone comes by the school, they come up to the window, get buzzed in by Miss Judith. She will hand you the book. I'll already have it labeled for you. Done deal. The book's been checked out. So let's recap. You find a book in Destiny. You know it's available. You send me a text message. In the text message, you share your name, your ID number, and the book that you want. I will text you back and forth. We will set up a time for you to pick it up. And then someone, either you or someone in your family, comes and picks up the book and it's yours to read until you're done with it. Okay, that's one. Okay, two. Option two. Option two is you're bored out of your mind, you want something to read, but you have no way, either personally or your family or whoever, you have no way for someone to come to the school and get the book. So here's your option two. What you can do is download an ebook, download an audio book. I know many of you, when I suggest this, especially as you roll through with social studies to get that book, and I'm like, there's lots of ebooks out there. We have so many cool ebooks. I think I had two people who actually were like, okay, I'll give it a shot. 
this is your best option. This is the lazy man's option. I am a lazy man or woman or whatever you want to call me, but I am lazy. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I don't like to go anywhere. I would download an ebook and just read it on my computer. Thousands of available copies. I'm even lazier than that. I'd actually download the audiobook and just listen to it while I did something else. So if you are unable to have someone come to school, either yourself or someone in your family, or you're lazy like Miss Arnold, use the ebook audiobook option. I think sometimes you're nervous about how to get that onto your device. And again, that's where my Google number will come into play. I can guide you through each step of how to get it downloaded. If you can't figure it out, it's pretty easy. I have instructions inside the library teams for how to do it. It's under files in each of our library teams, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. But if you want step-by-step -step guided instructions from Mrs. Arnold, live instructions, you just have to text me and I will help you download the book of your dreams. Okay, that's option two. Okay, final option, option three. And this is a very slim option. And I'm going to say slim because let's say there is a book of your dreams and it's not an ebook, it's not an audiobook, it's on the shelf, you know it's available, but there is no way anybody in your family or yourself can get to the library. I need you still to text me. If it's a need, 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 I may, might, I don't know if I'm allowed, I might even have the option to drop it off at your house if you need other materials or whatnot, or if Mrs. Jade is making runs to families, I can tag along with her. But this has to be the desperate scenario. And maybe, I don't know, you'd have to read it aloud to me once you get it. No, I'm just kidding. But that's the third option. Because no matter what, I don't want to deny your access to my magical books. I want you to keep that in mind. I want to help you read in any way possible, shape, or form, okay? So if you've made it this far through the video, thank you. Because Ms. Earl sure does like to ramble and go off topic. I've had to stop the video several times because I keep looking down at myself and then I realize I'm supposed to look at the camera. I've talked about my magical unicorns painting the library. I like to ramble, but if you've made it all the way to the end, I want to thank you and I do miss your faces and again, want to get books to those people who want books. So shoot me a text. Let me know what you want to do. Any help I can be of service to you, you just got to ask, okay? I adore you all, and normal sign-off, I'll say it here, go be amazing because you guys are amazing. I missed you. Mm. Okay, bye.